funded by Employment Ontario. So what we help with is finding, helping you and supporting you as you're looking for employment. So how many of you are looking for employment? How many of you have support? Or are you doing it by yourself? That's what we're here for. Because we're funded by Employment Ontario, we look at everything. We look at how you're presenting yourself on paper with a resume, um, cover letters, how to network, how to get out there and meet people, especially in the trades. Actually, I say anywhere because you need to be able to network with people and get to know people. They know other people that are hiring. How many of you are seeing that there's electricians being asked for in the newspaper? Come, we need five electricians. Do you see that? Not very often. So what we need is to be able to get out there and talk to people and find out where are those jobs and that's what we do at the Thornhill Hub. My position there is a job developer so I work uh, being able to connect with employers and looking at how we can be able to help the community grow, to be able to help their businesses grow by hiring the right people. That's what we're looking at. You guys are great skilled people. Let's try and get you employed. So there's a lot of benefits to be able to be connected to an Employment Ontario program like ours. Now in York Region, there's 13. That's only in York Region. So anywhere that you're living, look for something that has the Employment Ontario logo that talks about employment services. And then connect with an employment consultant that will look at it. We work with ones that are wanting to get into the apprenticeships, into the skilled trades, as well as any other, um, all the other positions there are. I have a passion for the skilled trades. My daughter ends up being my hairdresser, so I actually don't have to live with gray hair. So I love it. <laughs> so there's a number of skilled trades out there. It's looking at how to get into them, how to find that employer. There are some great employers in the area it's getting connections to them. So what do we provide for the employer? By working with us, we can actually help you to, um, for, to pay the employer, we pay them to hire you. So isn't that a great benefit? Here you are, you've got, let's say you're a uh, your licensed electrician and uh, you're looking for employment. So we can offer them a wage subsidy on your wages so here we are, we've got, there's five employers that sent in a resume, let's say, to this guy, but you were connected to us, and I ended up connecting with this employer and saying, you know what, this guy's great, um, I'll offer you a wage subsidy if you hire him. Most likely he'll look at, if you've got your, the skills and, the, and a great personality and a lot of passion, he's going to end up hiring you. So we can provide that wage subsidy, which can go up to $6,000. And then we also, if you haven't got your license and you're wanting to get into an apprenticeship where you're needing to be employed, because employed, apprenticeship, that's what it is. You need to find that employer. So I've placed actually a number of young guys right out of high school. They had a passion for the field. They had a great connection that an employer wanted to hire. So here I can... I can offer a bonus to the employer too. If you can take him on as an apprentice, when you sign him up with the ministry, which with Elaine, which we try to work close together, she'll come sign him up, you can get $1,000. Six months later, because what we're trying to do is keep you employed at sustainability in your job. The, the employer is keeping you on, then there's another $1,000 on top of the wage subsidy. So that's great for employers. Now I know this gentleman here was talking about hiring his son. You were talking about hiring your son as maybe an apprentice or something, right? Now unfortunately, we can't help when it's a relative. <laughs> but if anybody was ending up starting their own business and needs to, which I just did this last week, he just incorporated his business in, in October, He's been doing great and he wanted to hire an apprentice to work with him. Found a young guy. Again, he had gone to college. Ended up, it was not for him. He wanted to get into the trades. So he took him on as an apprentice. So there's a lot of information that I know that Elaine's given you and I've given you with regard to what's available. 
So you're more than welcome. My business cards are here if you've got any questions with regard to that. How many of you are starting your own business? No? Oh, okay. Yeah. So most of you are looking for employment. So I urge you to end up getting connected to some of the Employment Ontario programs that are close to you and talk to the employment consultant and meet with the job developer there so to see what it is that they can help because you. Because we deal with employment, uh, we do deal with training. As I say that, I should mention this. But how many of you have heard about Second Career? Okay. So there are ones, actually, there was another young guy that I placed that went and got um, his pre-apprenticeship and through the schooling, through Second Career. And he took that, they paid for it, and then we placed him as an apprentice.